What's going on YouTube? Jonathan Wright with Tactical Toolbox and today we're reviewing the Universal Blast Forwarding Device from Indian Creek Designs. Um, you're probably all wondering, you probably watched my install video of this and if you did watch it, um, you're probably wondering what this does. Does it take away all the effects of the muzzle brake? And if you haven't watched it, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. <clears throat> but what this is for is a blast forwarding device. So, if you guys have been following along this uh, build series here, um, we basically have been building this pistol, VG6 muzzle brake, with the VG6 precision um, concussive redirection device. But this uh, one right here, it only really eliminates the side blast. It doesn't really eliminate the blast that comes up from the barrel and hits you in the face. Um, I will say though, you do get used to the uh, the blast hitting you in the face over time. So if you've never owned or shot an AR pistol that has a muzzle brake on it, um, just be prepared for that. But let's get into this. This muzzle brake actually works really, really well. It does a very good job at eliminating the muzzle rise and the recoil. Um, I'll put some B-roll footage so you guys can see that. But like I said, it feels like you're getting punched in the face, at least in the sinus area. It's not really like getting punched, but it's kind of annoying. So I tried it out with the VG6 uh, concussive, what's this thing, cage device, and um, it did eliminate some of it that comes to the face. Well, I reached out to Indian Creek Designs and they make a universal um, concussive redirection device or they call it the BFD for blast forwarding device. Now this is made out of CNC aluminum. Um, it's Cerakoted in black and they have, uh, it only weighs 2.6 ounces. So you're not going to notice this on the end of your barrel. Um, what else? It comes in two different thread, uh, thread types. You can get the one half by 28 or you can get the one half by 36, whichever yours is, um, threaded for. Um, it will fit over any muzzle device that is one inch or less in outer diameter. But right here, there is a threaded part that fits right behind the muzzle brake or bird cage or whatever it is you have on your gun. And then you, you put on your muzzle brake or threading device um, behind, in front of it. Like I said, there's an install video in the description. Boom. Doesn't really come out the sides on this muzzle brake, but I'm sure if you have a muzzle brake that's a little bit longer, it might come out. Does it work? Yes, it works fantastically. Um, what is it? What about the recoil? Well, it brings the recoil back. That's the downside to this. Um, I kind of wish there was some like some perforations or some serrations uh, that went through the top to allow some of the gas to escape out the sides, but not all of it. And I think that would kind of clear up it bringing the recoil back. But you're probably wondering, well, why the heck did you get a muzzle device and then get something just to bring the recoil back? Well, the answer is this. Um, you can't shoot this in indoor ranges without hurting yourself. No, straight up. Um, when I go to indoor ranges, I have to, if I'm going to be just shooting this, I got to put on a good set of earplugs and then the Howard lights on top of them. Because what will happen is I'm shooting it. It'll hit your ears because this is a pistol, not a, uh, it's a pistol, not a rifle. So I'm not theoretically supposed to shoulder this. So I've got it here. And then when the recoil comes back, it'll knock the outside muffs out of the way. Um, with that being said, it ha I only did it once at an indoor range. Like I went to the range and it was like my first time firing this thing, I think. And it bumped it and it just broke the seal by like that much that went around my ear. And my ears were ringing for about an hour. So there's a couple of reasons why you'd want this. One, uh, indoor ranges. Definitely gonna want it there. Nobody's gonna like you if you don't have this. It eliminates all of the side blasts, up blasts, down blasts, wherever it's going, it's going down range. Um, so that works really well. Another reason to have one of these is if you're going to take a class um, and you wanna be respectful of your neighbors. Um, if you were planning on using an AR for home defense, which honestly, I don't know why you would, um, you're definitely going to want one of these because if you're in a hallway and you're trying to protect your family, um, everyone is going to go deaf. I mean, they're going to go deaf with this, but if you're in a hallway and it ricochets off the wall, it's going to be even worse. Um, like I said, I wouldn't recommend one of these unless it was like chambered in nine millimeter, 
for home defense with some good hollow points. But other than that, guys, this thing works fantastically. And they're actually very uh, affordable. It makes it more enjoyable indoors. And outside, I usually will take it off unless I got someone that's kind of beside me. Um, it's not that big of a deal if you're out in the open land shooting and it's actually quite enjoyable. But like I said, I rolled some B-roll footage so you can see a difference in the recoil because it does reintroduce the recoil. Um, but I think these things are awesome. Um, if you're shooting a longer rifle, I think um, you're definitely not going to get kicked in the face. But it will definitely help out that, um, you know, the people beside you. Um, another reason you might want this instead of maybe a propri proprietary one like the VG6 cage device is you can put this on any, like I said, on any muzzle device. So that's one inch in diameter or less. So maybe you got like five or six guns and they all got different muzzle brakes on them. Well, you could just get this and then multiple thread protectors. And then you could just, I mean, not thread protectors, but the multiple threading parts and just put it on each gun as you go down the line. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, the only thing I wish, um, and maybe they are working on something. I did talk to the gentleman, I think his name's Gary from Indian Creek Designs, and he did say they were working on some new stuff. So maybe they're gonna put like some some uh, ports on the top or like some holes, something to help dissipate it more so we can still um, retain a lot of the uh, recoil reduction. But overall, I give this a fantastic review because it does what it says it's gonna do. It doesn't say that you're going to keep your recoil to reduction. It says it's going to blast um, all of the concussive forces downrange. But anyways, guys, I just want to make this quick review for you because this thing is worth it. And go check out the install video. Super easy to install. But anyways, guys, I'm Jonathan with Tactical Toolbox. You guys stay sexy. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting on all of our videos. Um, you guys have really been a blessing to this channel. And you guys take care.